So, um, NXLog Remote Agent Management. Uh, first, first of all, we'll talk about the APIs that are um, available on the agents themselves, and that's the uh, XM Admin module. So the agent administration can be done either uh, through JSON or SOAP over TLS. And um, that doesn't require any additional uh, product. So uh, from the uh, command line interface, you could uh, call an API uh, request uh, through JSON, as we see at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so that could be a uh, JSON POST request to get the uh, server info from a, a particular agent or group of agents. And then these agents will uh, respond with uh, their details on the right. So we can see a list of um, uh, fields and values. And those uh, can be very useful for from the agent uh, management perspective. Um, the agent side uh, of the um, management is always developed first. So uh, we also we already discussed about the automatic recovery feature that is being added to XM Admin, uh, but there's also a failover uh, being added. So in the future, you will be able to point to the manager to a couple of managers, and uh, one will act as the primary. If it fails, then um, the agent will contact the uh, second in the list, or the third one, or the list can be very long. Uh, there's also support added for uh, labels. So whenever you're onboarding a new agents on the manager side, you can see those labels and um, uh, group them in a, a more efficient way. So this uh, feature is already present in on the agent side. However, uh, development uh, is needed on the management side. Um, the um, APIs are uh, particularly interesting for creating administration scripts or plugins for uh, third-party tools such as monitoring tools. Uh, examples are Nagios and Cacti. And that brings me to the future of the manager. So the NXLog manager um, version 6 is coming up, is expected in summer 2021. and it will include performance tweaks and bug fixes. Uh, these will also be added to the uh, 5 series of the manager and uh, refer to the agent management, but also the uh, rendering of the agent list. So some customers have reported a, some slowness, especially on the uh, environments where there's a high number of um, nodes. Uh, there is a uh, performance tweaks added to the product. Another feature that will be supported in manager version 6 is uh, multi-tenancy. And that is uh, very interesting for um, MSSPs. Uh, there will be, it will be possible to have uh, separate tenants uh, using um, their own database without having data leaked between them. Uh, this will also uh, use individual uh, LDAP settings. Um, modular templates will also be supported. So currently, um, for for you that um, are NXLog Manager customers, uh, you can use um, monolithic templates. Uh, basically, you can uh, map one template to one or more agents. But in the future, you will be able to map uh, two or more templates in a modular way to one or more agents. Uh, there's also work done on the um, APIs and the documentation in uh, Swagger uh, UI. So that will facilitate the uh, deployment, uh, the certificate management, and the agent and template configuration. Uh, another feature added is shared dashboards. So um, in the future, you will have uh, public and private dashboards, and the public dashboards will be able to be shared. Um, there's also um, uh, features added on the uh, PKI um, screen on your manager to facilitate the management of certificate renewals. 
so you will have a better overview of these certificates uh, expiring and uh, take action on them. Um, so uh, custom agent labels are being implemented to support the feature added to the APIs as we um, mentioned in the pre previous slide. And also uh, support for Java 11 is being added. Uh, in general, the uh, user interface will be improved and smoother experience will be added. And that brings me to Minder, uh, which is uh, an API first solution for managing the agents remotely. So um, when the manager was designed uh, almost a decade ago, um, it was designed to scope up to 100 and, um, 1,500 nodes. And that figure seemed um, a huge number initially. Uh, then we provided a way to, to scale further by uh, using Galera. And um, uh, today, though, the, uh, this scale um, is sometimes not sufficient. So uh, uh, a scale of a 100,000 nodes is not uncommon. And scaling further the existing uh, Java-based uh, manager solution uh, would, resolve, would result, result in uh, lower efficiency. Um, also, uh, running Java applications within uh, constrained environments is hard. So um, people started demanding APIs and Manager was not designed as an API first product. So creating a whole new uh, component within the Manager uh, would be inefficient and prone to errors. And that brings me to the goals of the Minder product, which is, as we said, API first solution. Um, you will be able to uh, manage agents remotely uh, by running uh, uh, scripts and queries and collect metrics. Uh, essentially, you'll be able to push configuration to thousands of agents uh, concurrently. And this uh, uh, will scale up to 250,000 agents. Uh, the goal is to have this uh, efficiently run on uh, the cloud and also on premise. And provide a fault tolerant solution that is simple to manage. Uh, the current status is um, that is um, currently a stateless server. Um, it also expects the agent to contact the minder first. Uh, it's based on a simple uh, prototype CLI and a simple implementation of a PKI. Um, encryption uh, is implemented um, and the um, uh, health of the agents is uh, also implemented by in a, a simple fashion. So, um, it's possible to feed all these uh, agent metrics to a third party tool. Uh, we use Prometheus for that. And this is a, a popular open source monitoring and alerting toolkit. So you could uh, basically feed all the information that you collect from your agents um, to Prometheus and uh, see statistics, create graphs, uh, similar to how the manager uh, looks like today. What's next? Uh, the team is working on improving uh, clustering capability. Um, it, we will also move away from the stateless model and um, store the configuration uh, file for each agent uh, centrally in order to, to be able to detect modifications uh, similar to how the manager does it. Uh, there will be uh, improved filtering and uh, the scaling of the product will be verified as well. 